guys, what's up? JWisp here, and welcome to episode 6 of the Minecraft 1.17 Survival Let's Play. Here we are, back in the world. Things are starting to look really good, and I'm getting really excited about this update. We are officially on Minecraft version 1.17. The official 1.17 release is here, and as you can see, we also have Optifine. Optifine is out for 1.17 and the vanilla tweaks texture pack which we can use to make our world look just a little bit better by adding some fun details. But here we are back in the world. We worked on some really cool things in the last episode. We started off by making this villager breeder which is actually doing pretty good and starting to uh Starting to produce a lot of villagers, and I guess also some iron golems. We also raided a piglin bastion, got lots of good loot, and I've done a little bit of work around the village. One thing I did was take the leaves out from around this uh, cow pen because there were so many villagers and iron golems and other things in here. And now, I made sure it's just cows. Except I had to, uh, purge a few villagers out of this pen. And uh, the iron golems in the town weren't so happy, so I also had to kill all of the iron golems. But, it's alright, our villager population is coming back up, and we're going strong. But in this episode, I want to work on something pretty cool. I want to see if we can hopefully get ourselves some full diamond. Full diamond armor, weapons, all that good stuff. A lot of people in 1.17 I've seen on Twitter, on YouTube, on Instagram, making memes about how hard it is to find diamonds now. And everyone seems to be really confused on how to find diamonds. We're in that sort of weird, awkward, teenager middle stage of this update. We have part one, which means cave generation is slightly different. We have dripstone caves, we have deep slate, we have the new ores like copper, we have slightly updated terrain and cave generation. However, we don't have the full blown new cave generation with adjusted world height. And so mining is a bit wonky right now and it's going to be a bit wonky until December when we get the actual release of the second part of the update. We don't know if it's in December for sure, but we know it's coming sometime winter of this year. So, pretty interesting. I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to find a lot of diamonds in 1.17. I've had a lot of success. As you can see, you know, we're only on episode 6. We have a decent amount of diamond stuff. We've also made a jukebox with our diamond. We've made an enchantment table. We've been able to find a lot of ores. But like I said, things are a bit wonky right now with how the cave generation is and with the new ores and everything. So, things are a bit weird and it's understandably hard to get diamonds right now. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips, tricks, we're gonna do some diamond mining, and I'm gonna show you guys how to easily get diamonds in 1.17. So here I am a little bit away from the village, and I have pretty much everything I need to go mining. I always like to bring a little bit of wood and some torches just to keep it lit up. I don't actually need a lot of torches now because with Optifine, we actually have dynamic lighting, which means as long as we hold a torch, it'll light up the area around us. But here we are a little ways from the village and a good place to mine. And I actually found this little ravine, but this ravine won't really help us find diamonds. It's just going to help us get deep down in the world, which we need to do. Now, mining diamonds hasn't actually changed all that much. Although we do have new ores and some slightly changed cave generation, the Y level for which to mine diamonds is still the same. You still want to mine between Y level 0 and Y level 16. That's where diamonds will spawn. And statistically, diamonds will spawn the most at Y level 12. So typically what I'll do is mine at Y level 11, my feet at Y level 11, which means Y level 12 is right in front of my face. Now, just like before, there are different ways to mine diamonds. Some people swear by strip mining, some- oh, we have a geo there. Uh, some people just like finding caves. You know, everyone has their own method of mining, but the method I use, I've still found to work the best to find me the most amount of diamonds the quickest. And all you have to do is go to your options, music and sounds, and turn on subtitles. I've talked about this all the time before, and if you watched me, you probably know that I've used this for a while, but subtitles are so nice for a few reasons. One, they allow you to mine straight down and sort of warn you before you're gonna find lava. So typically what I'll do is mine straight down to Y level 11. Now as long as my reaction time is fast enough, you know, as long as I accidentally, uh, you know, if I accidentally mine into some lava, I'll be okay, but for the most part, I shouldn't. I should be all set to mine, and I'll be safe, and I can mine straight down. Because the subtitles show you what sounds are nearby, and from which direction the sounds are coming. So if there's lava near you, the subtitles will show you. So typically what I do, is I go down to Y11, 
and I pick a random direction and I start mining. Start mining in that direction. If you're lucky, you might actually find some diamonds just strip mining like this. But what you're going to do is keep watching your subtitles and look for sounds that indicate that there's a cave nearby. Maybe zombie sounds, bat sounds, water sounds, lava sounds, anything like that that could indicate a cave. Because oftentimes, when you find a cave at such a low Y level like this, anywhere from Y level 5 to 16, it's very frequently that you will find, it's, you know, it's very easy to find diamonds. Diamonds are almost in every single cave at this Y level. Sometimes, you will be unlucky and find a really small cave that won't have really anything in it. But more than not, you'll find a big cave that will often have diamonds, and it might even lead you to a ravine or an abandoned mine shaft. This is pretty much what I do, I just mine in a straight line, I'll find a cave, explore the entire cave, and after I'm done mining through the cave, I'll go back to mining in a random direction. So, I'll be back with you guys once I've found a cave. Alright, here we go, this is what I'm talking about, I started mining towards the sound of a bat, and bats usually indicate caves. So what's also nice about this is when you find big caves like this, not only are you likely to find diamonds, but you're also likely to potentially find some other ores around the cave. So let's explore this cave and uh, see what there is to find. I don't really need anything else besides diamonds. I'll collect a little bit of gold and a little bit of iron, I guess. But the main thing we're looking for is diamonds. Now, what you also have to be a little bit careful of when doing this... Uh, I don't want to go up there. That's too high of a Y level. Is uh, Diamond generation is actually slightly different in certain biomes. So depending on your biome, you can press F3 and check your biome. Diamond generation will be a bit different. Uh, ooh, that's too high. Let's let's check out near these lava pools. Usually near lava pools, there can be diamonds. Now, sometimes you get lucky and you find a lot of diamonds in this cave. Sometimes you don't get lucky and you don't find many. So let's keep looking around. Hopefully, we get lucky. Place some water. I'll, ooh, is that is that diamonds in the corner? Yes. Okay, we got one diamond. Any more in here? Let's see. Is there anything else around this cave? Uh, I don't think so. All right, let's check out the diamonds. Uh, here we go. Okay. Now, what's nice about this is, again, you don't have to do tons of just boring strip mining. Another reason I do this, though, is honestly, I just feel like it's so boring for me to just strip mine straight for hours and hours. It's not fun, but caving, it's a lot more fun to explore a cave. I can actually walk around, place some torches, find some other ores, stuff like that. I don't know, fight some mobs. It's definitely a lot more engaging when you're caving versus just mining for diamonds. All right, so we're at six right now. Let's keep checking around here. Check out the rest of this cave. I don't know if there's going to be much else around here. Let's see. Um, anything? No. All right, let's look. I do. I do hear. I do hear a zombie. Where was that coming from? There's a bat. So what you can actually do is, if you look at subtitles, you'll see that arrow next to the sound. It'll show what direction the sound is coming in. And when you actually look in the direction of the sound, the arrow will become a slightly lighter color until you're looking directly at the direction of the sound, and the arrow will eventually go away. So that's how you know you're going in the right direction. Let's try to mine towards all these zombie sounds and all these bat sounds. We should... Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was going to say we should be able to find another cave really easily. Alright, well, this isn't really a cave, but it's a big ravine, so let's check it out. Sometimes, I don't know, I feel like I usually don't have good luck in these big ravines. I have better luck in smaller caves, but let's look around. There might be some other good stuff besides diamonds, maybe some chests if there's a mine shaft, or some of the cool new 1.17 blocks. I want to collect a decent amount of deep slate and stuff like that, also dripstone blocks. Let's be really careful, though. Let's check out this whole thing, see what there is to find. I collect a little bit of the iron and whatnot, but again, like I was saying, I don't need much of it. I think I'm going to make a giant iron farm sometime soon, but for now, I collect a little bit here and there. Also collect some of the copper. Oh, was that only one piece? Okay, only one piece. Uh, let's see, anything? Lots of deep slate. Okay. I don't know if there's going to be anything in here. Let's check out. Let's grab this coal vein really fast. I don't know, I'm not feeling great about this one, but this is typically what I do. Once I'm done with this ravine, I'll just start mining in a random direction again at Y11, wherever it is, and uh, let's try to find a new cave. Let's see. <gasps> yes, no way. <laughs> I thought we were done. See, always check out the whole ravine. Okay, let's grab these, and then we can just start trying to find some more diamonds in a different cave. There we go. Okay, that was a good amount. Now, for a full set of armor, I need 24. And then for tools, I'll need extra, but we already have one piece of diamond armor, so I don't need the full 24. Let's go. Where was our previous mine? Where'd we come from? I want to continue mining in the same direction I was, because I don't want to backtrack to caves or other parts I've been to already. So we came from that direction, so I'll start mining in this direction. I'll make my set way down to Y11, and then we'll start... Oh! 
I swear I didn't plan for this to happen. I, I swear, wait, I swear I didn't even, I wasn't even going towards the sound of the lava. I was just, oh, I wasn't even a Y11. I needed to mine some more. I was just mining in a straight direction. I kind of just, right around here is where we popped up in the ravine. So I thought, hey, let's, let's do what we actually came up. Did we come up here? Yeah, we came up here. So I was just like, hey, let's just mine straight. And uh, I guess, I guess, I guess things just kind of worked out for us. Okay. Uh, I've never seen something like this before where there's an... Okay, I may as well just leave this cave or else people are gonna think that I'm cheating. Okay, I swear I don't know what's going on. Listen, I just wanted to create a video to show my mining method. And I promise you, do not expect these results. It's not always that I'm this lucky. Sometimes in some worlds I get really lucky, sometimes I don't. What's our biome? We're currently in a forest biome. So that's uh that's pretty good. Okay, let's let's go back and mine the diamonds first before we explore the rest of this cave. I'll block this off so we don't have mobs coming our way the entire time. Well, looks like it's a little too late. We're gonna have to fight them. I uh I don't know. That's pretty pretty good luck. Let's see. Some of these diamond veins might be small, they might be big. Let's see. I've never seen something like this though, where there's coal and then diamonds, redstone, more coal, lapis, iron. We got every a single ore pretty much right here. Uh, I'll collect a little bit of each, I guess. I mean, the most... I mostly just want diamonds, and, uh... Oh, well, okay. I guess we weren't that lucky. It was only one piece of diamonds. Nothing crazy. One diamond. Uh, what about that one over there? I swear, I just walked into this cave, I saw that diamond. I thought that was crazy, and then I saw that one over there. And I was like, oh gosh, this isn't gonna be good. Um, I guess this isn't the worst, though. I've had... I've had better luck before, and people were going crazy. Uh, okay. Okay, we're at 19, that's pretty good. Listen, this is personally my favorite diamond mining method. However, I'm promising you that it does not always work this well. Sometimes I will mine for nearly an hour and only find one or two veins of diamonds, but sometimes I'll mine for, you know, 30 minutes and I'll get nearly a stack. Now it also depends on if I have fortune on my pickaxe, what biome I'm mining in, because some biomes, it seems like I almost never find diamonds, whereas in other biomes, I find them all the time. Like in ocean biomes, I have a very hard time finding diamonds personally, but again, this is my method, it works well, and this is why it works well, because you constantly find caves. Now, the other thing you need to be careful for is sometimes when mining in a random direction, you will go through long stretches of mining, where you won't find any caves for a while. Sometimes you get really lucky like I am now. Sometimes you get really unlucky. After this cave, there might not be a cave for a long time. Chunks and chunks. And I'll have to mine for hundreds of blocks without getting any ores at all. So, it really just depends. Sometimes you get lucky or sometimes you get unlucky. It just depends. But, I mean, we've had some pretty good luck so far. I mean, even though we found a decent amount of diamond veins, we still don't have, like, an absurdly large number of diamonds. We have 19. A decent amount. But nothing crazy. Let's keep mining, let's keep gathering some of these other resources. I just need to say out loud that I'm not going to collect every single one, or else people will yell at me in the comments saying like, Oh, I missed a vein of iron. I don't really mind. So, okay, hopefully... Let's see, what's our Y level? We're at Y level 11. Oh, we're perfect. Alright, so I came from that direction, I believe. So, we're going to keep mining in this direction. Hopefully this time... I don't run into another cave straight away. I, 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 I don't know where I'm going. I'm just sort of mining in a different direction. What I typically do is mine a little bit away from the previous cave I was in, just to uh, get rid of all the subtitle sounds, get rid of all the old lava sounds and water sounds that are behind me, so that I can find new sounds in the future. Okay, look like looks like we're back to uh, some slightly less exciting mining. Not crazy caving with diamonds everywhere, but let's keep searching and see if we find anything useful. Alright, this is what I was talking about. Sometimes you find a cave pretty close, and sometimes you have to mine down a big, long tunnel before you find another one. So, let's check out this one and see if we find anything. Hopefully we get some good drops again. Maybe our luck has run out. <laughs> I don't know, let's see. Uh, anything around here? Okay, lots of iron. I guess I'll mine it a little bit, I don't know. I don't really need iron for anything. So, let's see, anything? Maybe down here? Let's lava that. We have some... Redstone? Lapis? Anything else? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's check out over here. Maybe this cave isn't as lucky as the other ones we've been in, but let's check it out. Still worth seeing. Uh, I don't see anything useful. Lots of redstone. And then just a cave that goes up a little bit higher and has nothing. Well, again, there you go. Sometimes you get lucky in caves, sometimes you don't. Like I said, the majority of the time when you're at such a low Y level, like right here, 
it is very often you will find diamonds. It's pretty easy to find diamonds when you're at such a low Y level and you find a big cave. But they're not in every single cave. And who knows, there might be some diamonds really close by in the walls or underneath the lava. But I'm not going to take the time to search through every single block to look for diamonds. Well, I didn't find anything else uh, anywhere near those caves. So I just decided to come back to the house and we're all set. But that was still a pretty successful trip because we have 19 diamonds. Which, I mean, hey, what was I trying to do? Trying to turn off subtitles. Uh, which, I mean, hey, it's pretty good. It's not, you know, the best. But we can definitely make some more diamond armor, some diamond tools. Also, we do have 30 levels of XP. So I want to see something. I'm curious. If we grab the enchantment table, and if I make as many books as I can, if we will finally have enough materials to make ourselves a full level in 30, level 30 enchantment table. I don't know if we will be able to, but let's see. Let's break all the bookshelves, get all the books we can. Plus, we should be able to make a decent amount of books too. In some of my chests, I have some leather, some sugar cane. We also do have a sugar cane farm, as well as a cow farm for leather. So, I think we might be able to make ourselves a full level 30 enchantment table and maybe enchant a level 30 pickaxe. That would probably be the best and first enchantment we should make, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to look and see what we can do. Uh, just see what our resources are. If not, we can always do it in a future episode, but if we can get that done today, I think that would be pretty cool. Well, I have a decent amount of sugarcane, but I don't have a lot of leather, so I think what I'm going to do is kill all of the cows until there's two left and then I can breed them again. And hopefully from that, it'll give us enough leather. Alright, after killing all the cows except for two, we have ourselves 57 pieces of leather. I don't know exactly how much we need for a full bookshelf, but let's see. We might actually need some more sugar cane. I'll see. Let's see what we can do. So, we have all the paper, and then we add the leather, and okay, we're able to make- okay. We have a lot of books. I think- I think we might be all set. Let's see what we can do. I'll grab as much wood as we can. Uh, I should have a lot of spruce wood. I might actually need to cut some more trees down pretty soon. Uh, okay, let's start off with this and see what we can do. I'm not sure if we can do it. Let's see, though. Oh, oh, okay. We're, we're, de we're, we're definitely okay. Okay, I thought we wouldn't have enough bookshelves, but we definitely have more than enough bookshelves. I'll make myself 16 for now and save the materials in case I ever need more in the future. Okay, okay, we're doing pretty good. I definitely thought we wouldn't have enough, but we're okay. What I'm gonna do for now is just build the enchantment table outside. Uh, I built it a little bit far away because in the future, I think what we'll do is make ourselves some sort of enchantment setup. I don't know, maybe I'll make like a wizard tower or something. I don't know, something that looks like an enchanting table would fit inside of it to look good. And is this at level 30? Okay, perfect, we're at level 30. So, let's make ourselves a diamond pickaxe because that's always the first thing I enchant to level 30. The reason for that is because having efficiency is really useful to mine faster to get more resources. Plus, if you get fortune 3, I mean that's probably one of the best enchantments you can have in the game, especially with 1.17. As of 1.17, uh, enchanting is a lot more, oh, sorry not enchanting, fortune is a lot more overpowered and perfect. We had enough diamonds just to make the rest of our full set of diamond armor. Yeah, enchanting isn't more OP in 1.17, but fortune is because fortune works on copper, and it now works on gold and iron, so it's a lot easier to get more. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see what we can do. Uh, okay, efficiency 4 for sure. Alright, we only got efficiency 4, not anything crazy, but it's still pretty good. And so what I'm going to do with the rest of the diamond armor is get some like level 1 enchantments on them. Hopefully, just protection 1 on everything. My first set of diamond armor is always just protection 1 on all of it. And then while I have that, I work on getting a full set of level 30 enchanted armor. Okay, can't do protection, but I think I will do fire protection. Because fire protection is useful, especially if we're in the nether or if I accidentally fall into some lava. Alright, perfect! There we have the enchanting setup and our armor. Okay, perfect. And we have efficiency for diamond pickaxe. Not perfect, but our XP is looking pretty decent. We have 22 levels, and I have a lot of options for how to get XP. I could head to the nether and mine some quartz. Uh, or another option is we do have some cave spider spawners in a nearby mine shift we found a few episodes ago. And I could use those to make an easy, simple XP farm. But anyways, guys, that is all for this episode. I hope you found it entertaining and enjoyable, and hopefully you could get some good tips on how to mine in 1.17. 
Again, the entire mining game will be changed once the second part of this update is released this winter. But for now, this is how I mine diamonds and this is how I get all of mine and it seems to work out pretty well. I might have just had a lucky day, but who knows. That's all for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. My name is Jay Wisp, and I will see you guys all in the next episode.